Hi James, Justin back with another snare for you. Today we're going to look at a drum from Kent. And we're back quite, in quite a ways back in time. It's a six lug. Uh, I believe it's maple, a student model. Uh, the clamp on hoops, a single tension. So you tighten both heads with one turn. Um, I was into collecting a bunch of vintage drums for a while. I haven't done anything with this. It's been in storage. I was kind of, kind of restored a little bit. I just left it as is. So there's little spots of rust and all kinds of stuff like that. And this is exactly as I got it head wise. So, um, whatever's on it is what I got. Here it is with no muffler. tighten it without taking the snares off and redoing it. Maybe I'll try to take the head up just a little bit. And this key doesn't fit it very well. I'll have to change keys really quick. Let's see if that helps it at all. tricky to turn on so maybe I'll do it at the end of the video I'll go ahead and throw the beta bus kill on again I'd have to take the snares off and redo them and I just don't I mean I just don't do anything with this drum so I'm not gonna go through that process <laughs> Again, it's an old Kent. I believe Kent used to uh, get their shells from the same place as uh, Gretsch. Uh, somebody will correct me on that, I'm sure. I'll turn the stairs off now and uh, do a little bit for you with no muffling. <laughs> It's, it's pretty old. So anyway, here it is, Kent. Uh, probably on the chopping block, anybody who's interested in uh, restoring old drums, here's a good one for you. 